welcome back to Design at Scale. I'm Ken. On a day that feels like day 1058, however many years that is, like feels like three years, of the COVID-19 outbreak. I know China's been dealing with this since late 2019. It spread across the world and now we all feel kind of trapped inside. Uh, we don't have the connections we, we've had in the past that we're so used to that we've really taken for granted. And what I want to do in this episode is share some, some tools that I have in my toolbox. Not literally this toolbox. It's heavy. But, but some skills that I have as an artist that help me get through tough times. So when I'm feeling stressed, I like to sit down and draw. And what I tend to draw are my emotions or the experiences of the day or my thoughts or maybe my wishes and desires. And that helps me kind of deal with the stress that I'm feeling. I'd like to share those with you because I know a lot of you at home, well, a lot of you wherever you are right now, are dealing with stresses. I'm going to start with The Little Green Link. I wrote this book based on my experiences as, as a kid. He's always been a part of me, and I like to illustrate pieces of me as symbols. Obviously this is not me. This guy's way more handsome. Well, a little more handsome. As a representation of myself as a kid. This map is all the places I've played as a child behind my parents' house. And I and I put all the little places that were important to me in there. Because as you get older, the importance of the things that you have now change over time. So draw them, write them down. Put everything on paper that you possibly can that matters to you. So here we have the little Greenland exploring the world and you can see some trash down here. Here we've got his foot and there's broken bottles by his foot. Over here you've got his work area. This is where he creates stuff out of the garbage that he's finding. Actually embedded trash into the book. So think about this. As we get into what I want to talk to you about today about, which is sketch journaling, how could you embed artifacts of the real world into your sketch journal? All right, that led me to doing a lot of sketch journaling because that book wasn't just about creating a book. That book was more about getting my ideas and my thoughts and my feelings onto paper and putting them into a book format because they're worth it. So are yours. As we're dealing with all of the stresses that are our modern world, what if we had a way to journal our ideas in an image? So I want you guys to try sketch journaling. This is sort of a sketch journal, still using the little green one. And as you can see, there's more and more. If I feel like I want to escape where I am, I can come up with a new imaginary world. And that seems weird, right? Like, oh, that's what nerds do. Well, you know what, I'm a nerd. Embrace your inner nerd sometimes, because it'll help you escape and find this beautiful space in your imagination. So I created this land, and I created something to do in the land where you're searching for the sword and the stone. I didn't make that up. So I started sketching one day some way to escape some of the stuff I couldn't deal with right then without putting myself in this heroic position. I needed to imagine myself as a hero before I could go be a hero. So sometimes sketch journaling might look like a comic strip. Here we've got ducks reflecting on what they don't want to lose in their lives. So. Do you think one day we'll stop making drawings and do really boring things? And the other duck says, no way, we'll always make art. And the next one he says, do you think we'll stop making blanket forts? And the other duck says, no way, we'll always make blanket forts. And in the end, do you think we'll ever stop looking up? No way, we'll always look up. Don't forget to look up, guys. I would have forgotten I felt that if I didn't write it down and keep it in my sketch journal. So it was important to me to, to write that down at some point. I went through a really hard time in my life about four years ago, and it took a long time for me to start feeling good again. But sketch journaling really helped me get there. So what you see here is me questioning where everything comes from. So there's this black hole in the center of a galaxy that's spinning around on a black hole. And over here, I'm standing feeling kind of empty, and my heart is here. I'm using the color blue. We've got these icicles hanging down. 
And we've got this blue around a black hole. And that blue represented coldness. And this sketch really helped me to understand what I was going through. And as I kept going, so I dated that, 72317. 72317. I think I drew this one in the morning. Yep, 10.53 a.m. And this one I drew at night, 9.31 p.m. I felt like these things were just eating at me and they were fear and anger. And I felt like they were eating my heart. Resentment was eating at my brain. And then they're starting to grow these new ones in my stomach. My stomach was always hurting. I just couldn't feel right. And this drawing helped me deal with resentment and fear. And then on 72417, I draw this very happy image. This is my house as a spaceship leaving the space dock. And in this, I have very hopeful messages of how am I going to live my life now as I move my home to a new place? This drawing helped me get through that time in my life, which again, I was feeling fear and resentment, but also I was trying to feel happier. I was doing things to make my life better. And this sketch journal helped me get through that. Oh yeah, here's a good one. On 8117, I drew another Adventures from the Space Twinkie, the little Greenling. Um, I think I was working on some other ideas. And putting the Greenling with the Adventures from the Space Twinkie with my, my Airstream here helped me come up with these ideas that I knew were connected, but I couldn't figure out how. Well, three years ago, I had no idea I'd be sitting here in front of this camera talking about how this sketch mattered to me. But it really did. What do we have? Oh. I love this one. I'm gonna show you, and then I wanna read it to you. Here is an illustration of one of the sermons from that fellowship. I'll just share it with you. You can't copy another person's light, even if you love and admire that person. Maybe it's time to celebrate the loss of my missing piece, celebrate my song. Every time I open this sketch journal, when I find this page, I remember I'm okay as I am. Just as I am. Let's see what else we have. Here, you can see me in an empty forest. You can see all these trees have been cut down. I was feeling very much like a, a deforested forest. Like, all of my value is gone. So, what I wrote was, what can I do now that more of my creative forest has been laid to waste. Did I lay it, or did my lack of self-care do it? Does that just happen? I have to plant new seeds. I'm now planting seeds to regrow that forest. Self-care means the things you do to take care of yourself. Well, I wasn't very good at with self-care. I was very bad at self-care. And at the point that I drew this, I started to get good at it. This is one of my favorite sketch journals, by the way. Oh, yep, got some good ones here. Why are you coloring outside the lines? I'm not coloring outside the lines. I'm drawing inside the color. We're almost there. We are totally almost to spring break, but you're not there yet. Are you feeling like that? Draw it, take a photo, send it to a friend. <laughs> you feel like, nope, you're giving up? This little guy's in the fetal position. He's giving up, don't give up. Well, those are my sketch journals. And I create sketch journals to help me express myself. What would you create a sketch journal for? What would you draw? Would you draw your emotions? Would you draw the ideas you have in your mind? Would you draw the experiences that are going on in your life right now? What are you feeling? What are you thinking? What are you fearful of? What are you hopeful for? Those are some great things to sketch journal. I'll walk you through a couple ideas that I have, and then I'm gonna let you guys share your ideas because I would love to see them. All right, so I'll walk you through how I sometimes practice sketch journaling. And in this case, I kinda of wanna focus on emotions, thoughts, and experiences. We so seldomly stop to let ourselves consider those things. I'll start with writing down my emotions. I'm gonna write these down. I feel inspired. That's really weird, right? It's 
we're in quarantine and I feel inspired. I also feel impatient and I feel a little bit fearful, just a little. That's a lot to deal with, right? What are my thoughts? Well, my thoughts are, I love making things to share with others. That might be food, videos, books, art. What are my other thoughts? Well, I wonder what's going to change in our world after this is all over with. What are my experiences? Well, I'm home a lot. Ah, oh, I know what the other feeling is. Gratitude. I'm grateful for the life I've had. And as we look at my list, I want you to create a list. What are your emotions? What are your thoughts? What are your experiences? It's definitely now time to get to the drawing. So here's the sketch journal part of the sketch journal. So tear this sheet out and I'm just going to quickly sketch out something I'm feeling. I really like the idea of connectedness and gratitude with a little touch of fearfulness. Maybe inspired can be in there somehow. I want to add in into this uh, um, what I'm grateful for and that's the people who are working really hard to keep the world going. So I'm going to do a sketch and I'll bring you into it right now. Now this sketch is coming together very, very loosely. And quite often, my feelings look like a sketch. So this is like an old rickety looking shack. There's a lot of people right now who feel like their life has become a rickety shack. There are people facing hunger. There are people facing pains that they wouldn't normally have had to face. Over here, we'll create this person with their head on their hands. And over here, we'll see somebody sitting at the table, arms bowed in prayer, but nothing else is on the table. And here we're going to have a, a rickety old chimney. So I'm going to play with line quality now. Picking up those, those lines at the edges, make it feel heavy and broken. But now we have to move on from that to more of a hopeful message. Remember I said, I want to, I want to celebrate gr gratitude. I want to share my gratitude for other people. Put some of these shingles on here like they're kind of falling off. And out here in the side yard, I have this beat up old car. I have the license plate kind of sagging. And you don't have to be as good as me or better than me or worse than me to get something out of sketch journaling. You just have to share your ideas. What are your thoughts? What are your emotions? What are you fearful for? What are you grateful for? Maybe somebody is pulling up and the person in this car is going to offer hope to these people. And this car doesn't have to be, it's not like a Mercedes Benz or anything. It's just another person in town and they're bringing, I don't know, maybe food to this family. Maybe the necessities of life. And I know we've been making a lot of jokes about toilet paper. Man, it's important, and we realize how important it is when we don't have it. Put a little steering wheel in here. And I don't really, when I'm doing these kind of drawings, make it perfect. All right. And then the person that was in the passenger seat, maybe, has gotten out, and they're walking food. Let's have the door open. is carrying something for these people. So they're walking up to the door, have this rickety kind of sidewalk over here. I create a horizon line that also is kind of jagged. And maybe the sun is setting and these people feel like the sun is setting, but we don't know what time of day it is. So maybe the sun is rising. So it's a new day for everybody involved here. I also want to remember to sign and date my sketch journal. It's important to do that one so you you remember that you are part of this thing, but also so you know what is the context for the sketch journal. So when you go back and find it one day, you're like, oh yeah, I totally remember what was happening in that day. So we have our sketch journal made. And I challenge you to do the same. All right, guys, until next time, we're going to make it through. And I look forward to seeing what you create. Bye.